In this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how to create the spider's web embroidery stitch, also known as the woven wheel. So in order to create the, this embroidery stitch, you will need a blunt tip tapestry needle, and you will thread that with your, the color of yarn that you are going to be creating your stitch with. And then you will determine where you want the center of your stitch. So I'm gonna aim for right there is my center. So I'm going to come from below, from, from the wrong side of my fabric, and I'm going to pull my yarn through, and I'm going to make sure I want to pull plenty of yarn so that I have enough to work with. And then I'm going to thread that into the center of my stitch. And that is my first leg. Now I'm going to create another leg, and you want to make sure that you're creating an odd number of legs. Five seems to work really well. So again, coming from below, from the wrong side of the fabric, on the outside, and pulling your thread through, and bringing it in to the center. And we're gonna do that five times, and create five little spokes, or five little legs. We have created our five little spokes, and as you can see, they're not really even, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's hard to get them even with the way the columns of the stitches are. So now that we've got our five spokes, we're gonna bring our needle up again, this time closer to the center. You could try to go through the center, but since you've got now all of those spokes coming through to the center, it, might not work so well with your needle trying to come up against the grain of all of those other ones. And now that we've got our yarn back out on this on the right side, we're going to weave the yarn over and then under the spokes. Every other one. So over, under, over, under. So over, under, then over, under, and this is why we need an odd amount, because now that we're back at the beginning, now we're gonna go under on this one. And then over, over, under. And as this gets full, it, will be, it can be kind of hard to see your spokes, so you just wanna make sure you're not forgetting about one, especially since they're a little bit uneven. Some of them might just start to kind of hide. So you just gotta make sure you don't forget one and you just keep going over and under. because it's pretty full. And you just keep going around and around like that until it gets to be the size and the fullness that you like. So I think this looks pretty good. Um, I like to make sure that all of my little legs are covered up and hiding, which they pretty much are. So now you can go ahead and put your tapestry needle under and back to the wrong side of the fabric. Pull it all the way through. Now we're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna go under every single leg this time. We don't wanna do the under over thing because that will build up the height that we don't want and the, we don't want that volume now. So we're just gonna go ev under every one until we've gone all the way around. And you can, I do a couple at a time sometimes. And then you can weave in your yarn and that's it. 
And now we have created this nice stitch, which I think is a beautiful embellishment to your projects. And I have used this in my spring forest shawl. Hope you enjoyed. Now go forth and knit confidently.